Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming with this week's power review, it. the gift of what? Magi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're late, we apologize, we're on vacation, we're on location, yeah. as you Boom. can see. Yeah, in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing shopping. Shout out to the subscribers that noticed us down here, have been taking yeah. care of us while we're on vacation. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We definitely it. appreciate y'all, because yes, you indeed. don't have to do that. Kind of why we a little bit later than we wanted to be. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this week's power review. I want to say, you know, before we get into this recap slash review, that I really enjoyed the season finale. It was the mid-season finale. It was really, really good really really good and i want to kind of piggyback off what i said last week um about Tariq doing such a good job but just to add just a little bit more flavor to that you got to think that Tariq is coming off of leading a role by himself with nobody he's feeding off of like ghost and tasha and tommy was in the last season of power That's so he point. actually doing this all by himself and keeping our attention not all of our attention but majority of us keeping our attention so shout out bro for doing your thing man yeah and that's been the general consensus yeah. is that everyone went into it thinking that Tariq was going to get on their everlasting nerve but we're so committed to the power franchise yeah that we were just going to go ahead and do this right. and surprisingly enough Tariq hasn't gotten on anybody's nerves like nah. he's really been <laughs> doing his thing yeah. and redeeming himself as a lead yeah it's crazy right yeah it's crazy yeah it is crazy uh but to get on into this episode, we start out with the episode. We saw that it was it's uh, Tariq's 18th birthday. And, of course, we know Tasha was dreaming because she was free. Mm -hmm. She was over at the grandma's house. There was a knock at the door, and it was Raina. And she was wondering, like, you know, why are you here? You know, <laughs> Raina was like, why are you acting so oh, weird? Yeah, why are you acting <laughs> weird? <laughs> so, yeah, it was real good to see Raina. Mm -hmm. But uh, we see on this episode that uh, Sax is trying to prevent freaking Tamika from testifying because Tamika got all the information that could really get him in trouble because we know Sax don't want to do nothing by the book even though he say he gonna do about the book he ain't gonna do about the book so I just that's like all of us said I wish to God that he was killed off <laughs> in the freaking last power man yes. I, I don't even know why they even moved him over here because we are so off. sick of Sax yeah we are so sick of him, man. So sick of him. So, we see uh, pretty much this whole entire episode, pretty much, is they need to convince Tamika not to get on the stand. But we see Davis is like, no, this is the only way we're going to be able to get Tamika off of this is that we need to get Tasha get off Tasha, of this. Yeah. We got to get to all these T's. <laughs> yeah. Tamika, Tasha, get them all mixed Tommy. up. <laughs> but anyway... To get Tasha off this case, this is the only way. The only way. But we're going we're gonna to get you in a minute, Davis. But we see that the guy that Drew was messing around with last week, he is the undercover brother. So well, We should have figured that, though. He don't, he don't want to go public because he don't want the rest of the basketball team to know that he like guys. But ain't it? We talk about it all the time. It's so sad that you know you live in a world you can't be yourself. that you can't be yourself without somebody else putting you down or treating saying, you different. Yeah, treating you different and saying stuff. I'm like, my motto is you don't understand what a person is going through or what they like if you don't ever walk in their shoes. So I'm like, I know what I like, and I don't want nobody to be messing with me on what I like. So. How I'm pretty How much gonna do the impose same that yeah, on someone on somebody else. else. Yeah, just because you had a road doesn't mean that you get to impose your belief system on someone else. Yeah, so. yeah. So once again, Tariq in his old fashion comes to class late. I'm like, I think this every <laughs> every episode he been late. I'm like, come. well, why should he start straightening up now? Yeah, come on. So he ended up late turning his paper. And Jabari ended up making him do a freaking 25 page. But we're going to talk about Jabari right now. Jabari says all the right things. Yeah. So Jabari telling Tariq, you know, you know, you a brother in the school. You need to represent for us. You got to be a man Just of right. integrity. You know, yeah, all the good stuff. You know, make us look good, but bro. But so you. But we saw when Tariq turned in his paper, 
Uh, well, let's, let's, let's fast forward back a little bit. We remember when Jabari was actually talking to the guy about his second book. The guy was like, pretty much his second book was trash. Um, and pretty much we got these books from these white people. So that means now you will have to do two times better, 10 times better than them in order for me to get your stuff published. So he decided to read Tariq's paper, which was bomb, and decide he want to copy Tariq's goddamn paper for his next book. I said, oh. But you're going to tell him that he needs to be an upstanding guy, but you plagiarizing his work as for yourself. Come on now. It's the American way. That's about black. That's what it is. That's about Melania Trump. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, man. So it, cause, cause we, cause what they were saying was, because his first book is real. The next book is fake. So well, he, his first book, he had a real life situation that was giving him the motivation and the inspiration yeah, to, to, to write yeah. something that was so powerful because yes. it was real. And like she was saying, you have to write something that's real. Yes. And right now, I'm not real to you. Their relationship is some confusing skit. Right. To me. Yes. <laughs> One minute they want each other, the next minute she don't want him, <laughs> the next minute she can't stay off of his D, then the next minute she won't. She, she a ninfo. Both of them are. Yeah. Especially her. Well, shouldn't they just get together and just all day? <laughs> well, it ain't a bad idea, but anyway. Right. Um. <laughs> so, God darn if Sax freaking niece ride is Sax all over again. Of course, we know Sax told her not to talk to Tariq. Don't ask no questions. Just observe and report back. And of course, she grilling Brayden every time there's a situation that happens. Well, where does she get disappear where, where, to? Yeah, where's Tariq disappeared to? You know, what's Tariq be up to? And yeah, doesn't his family have money? And then Brayden was like, why you keep questioning me about Tariq? <laughs> God, don't leave me the hell alone. I said it's about time you start questioning some stuff, Brayden. Yeah, because you know, we kind of a little bit suspect about Brayden kind of putting us blowing at this spot because he's just so got doing jealous, not Se jealous, jealous, about being in the business with Tariq. He just 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 chat them out so what riley decided to do like just like her uncle he wanted to see he, she wanted to try to drug um brayden in his drink and the drink ended up getting switched up and Tariq ended up getting the drink come yeah. on now and i'm still trying to figure out what was the point like were you was she trying to drug him so that Braden would start just spilling so, information? Yeah, so Braden would start talking. That's why she's wanted to drug Braden. But yeah. usually when you drug somebody, they would do just like Tariq did. Yeah. Pass the f out. Exactly what he so did. So I was trying to figure out how how long did you think you had a window of opportunity exactly. to get information out of Braden if, exactly. if if the drink really went to Braden. Exactly. Um. And so we see Tariq in the room passed out. Uh, freaking Braden brother coming in now. You got to go and throw him on the ground. Tariq get up. He wandering all around through the party because that was his birthday party that we was at for his 18th birthday that Braden was throwing for him. And so he ended up stumbling on out and ended up at Raina's grave and his daddy's grave. Now, I'm like, I understand what y'all was trying to do, Powell, but that's kind of not like realistic that you're going to stumble all the way, all the way from a party, from a frat party. Well, not a frat party. Tariq's birthday party. A frat party. And ended up all the way at his daddy's grave in Raina's grave. <laughs> We're going to go with it. But it was a good moment because he was been, he, you know, Tariq is, is very, I think he's real sorry for what he did to Raina, for letting her get shot. He was apologizing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then when he got to his daddy's grave, it was like, you got in the way. You got in the way. I had to do it. It was but, a confession. Yeah, but you can kind of still see that. This thing is really, really starting to bother him, what he did to him. And we, just like we've been saying pretty much this whole season, we thinking that he's starting to regret what he did. Even though he making some, even though he making some bad moves, he's starting to learn more about his father. And I'm thinking he's starting to see that he like his father. And maybe if he got a chance to understand his father better, he wouldn't have had to pull the trigger. What, what you got to say about it? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> like he... He's a teenager, and you think in the moment, yeah. and in that moment, that was what he felt like he needed to do. This man has constantly hurt his family, hurt his mom. Yeah. He saw the error of his father's ways, yeah. and in his mind, 
and really I mean if you really think about it in the mind of most people these days eliminate the enemy get rid of the stumbling block that's in your way yeah. but not realizing that there are so many puzzle pieces right. that follow behind you when you make a decision like that right and even like we were talking about with the whole Tamika thing is Tamika can get on the stand and she can make it so that sex goes away not included yeah <laughs> so we can make it so that sex goes away but like I talk about those puzzle pieces and those crumbs yeah the crumbs are gonna lead back to sex being at truth and then who is the person that saw sex at truth to be able to say yeah he really was at truth and then it's gonna all come back yeah. to Tariq <laughs> right exactly so, so like you said really <laughs> <laughs> like you said like I think that he's sorry for what he did because his teenage brain mm -hmm. wasn't able to process All the, that, the yeah. entire the entire pitch. Exactly, exactly. So um, let's let, let's get on this um, Professor Ingram now. Well, we go, I'm gonna loop both of them together, Ingram and freaking um, Zeke the Freak. Yeah, Zeke the Freak set out a goal that he said he was gonna hit that, and he hit that, and he hit that, and it was easy. So we see Diane, not Diane, we see uh, Mo is still trying to figure out why Tariq know what he know. So she decided that she's gonna send Diana this time to get some info. So she was like, don't get caught up. I just need to get the info. Where's she did? She go over there talking to him and she ended up taking the gun and bringing it back to Mo. And Mo was like, ain't that about dumb? I said, you don't ain't think you, he's gonna he, notice? He's gonna notice that you took his gun? Yeah. And of course, she was able to only take it then because, you know, he was still freaking high on that guy doing drugs that Riley got mixed up and that he got. But yeah, why would you take his gun? But I like what she was trying to do. She was trying to school Diana of how yeah. to make a man always want and need you. Yeah. But also be able to push him away, but make him want to come back. Yeah. At the same time, playing a cat and mouse game. Yeah. And I've always said it, like if you have somebody that's chasing you around, chasing you around, most of the game is in the chase, mm -hmm. not in the catch. Right. So she's pretty much teaching her how to make that man keep chasing you by giving him crumbs and snatching it back. Yeah. Crum but don't get caught up. But Diana been caught up from the get go. Yeah, because we remember the scene where Diana called her out because when she was trying to school her like that, you remember my old boy pulled up and she was like, oh, so you trying to say the control like that? She said, sometimes you got to give it to him like you said, and then snatch it back. So she went to the door and snatched it. And literally snatched it back. <laughs> I said, keep on playing with that cop. But I bet she went around the corner and called him back and be like, you know, I ain't mean none of that. I was trying to make a point to Diana. You know, my bad. You know, you come back on over tonight. <laughs> but how about this? I don't know if you're going to get to this point. And this is going to come up, and this is what's going to get Tariq's time parts in major, major trouble. Oh. Y'all know that in the room that Brayden and Tariq stays in, there's this sliding panel in the fireplace where they stash their stuff at. Brayden's brother <laughs> goes right to it yeah. and takes the product. Yep. I forgot so, all about that. Yep. Yeah. How that's going. Yeah. That is going to get Tariq in a whole, whole bunch of, of skip. Yep. And especially now that Mo is really taking a liking to Tariq. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that was gonna that was gonna be my next point where uh, she invited him over there to cut this time because she don't he don't put him us went through all the kids and none of the kids could break him. So she was like, "What's one of my kids can I trust?" He was like, "Me." me. But I'm still kind of confused though because she still don't really know this boy. And like we y'all y'all been saying so that, yeah, and like y'all been saying in the comments that. Ghost them and running all up and down freaking New York, and y'all don't know them, or did you know them? And was you kind of working behind the scenes to take them down? But somebody brought up a good point, and I thought about this, but then at the same token, I'm like, if you do your research, it's not really hard to figure out who's who. But it was like, no one knows Ghost as James St. Patrick. 
No yeah. one knows them as the St. Patrick's. You only know of him as the name Ghost. Yeah. So just because you have his son in front of you now does not mean that the ghost that we've heard of is James St. Patrick. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. Tariq St. Patrick. So gotcha. the, the dots are having been connected, but at the same time. But you should have saw it on the news because they were on the news. But that are they, it, they're not publicly saying that James St. Patrick is ghost yet. They are in the background when we come to all this case and all this stuff. No, what I'm thinking is if, if she saw him in the street, she know what he looked like. So with him getting on TV with his whole family, on the news, maybe more they don't don't watch the news. <laughs> but no, 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 because you have to realize or remember that Ghost's nickname is Ghost because no one actually ever saw him. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, you saw him as a businessman, but that was you didn't. Yeah, you didn't see Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so they were two entities. But all I'm saying, if they ever like cross paths or did business together, they know what he looked like. So when you see him on TV, be like, "Hey, I know who I'm he. I know who that cat is." I'm just trying to help the storyline out. Yeah, I'm trying. I think they're messing up though, <laughs> on that part. <laughs> Whatever. Because they could have actually used the news as be like, "Wait a minute, that's the kid from the news, where his daddy was running for, you know, councilman." Yeah, that's that's him. But they no, they know a, that part. They, they know, know that, that part, part, but they don't know. That ghost is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. ain't gonna try to figure this out. We yeah, ain't trying. Like. Yeah, we trying to. Yeah, we trying to go down the rabbit hole. But this was, I think, was the defining moment of the night. Was when she made Kane give his freaking burner to Tariq. So, and you could see, you could see the hurt. Like, so this he coming yeah. to take my place? Yeah. And you got to remember, let's let's fast forward back. Fast forward back? Um, yeah. <laughs> Rewind back. I said fast forward back. <laughs> that you remember when uh, Rodriguez was at the house when Monet had sent them away, snatching it back. You remember Tariq and Kane was pulling up. And Tariq was asking questions. was like, you know, you know, how this worked. You know, how much y'all paying him to be able to get this information and doing what he's doing. And Kane couldn't answer him, and Tariq was like, hmm. hmm. So Tariq was knowing that, hey, she you don't, yeah, you don't know, yeah. Pull up panties to the yeah. side. Yeah, and you can't answer the question. So, <laughs> so yeah. You got anything else you want to add to that? I don't. So, now we see that Davis and Sachs is together at the end of the episode, and I'm pissed off. I still that y'all gonna that that Davis is gonna turn. Around. I know Davis is a sneaky lawyer, but I thought that he really liked Tariq and he really wanted to help Tariq. But at this point, I guess he'd be like, "All y'all lying and got me all tied up in this this craziness." So him and Sax are gonna get together and gonna get Tamika up on the stand, and they're gonna cross examine and get Tariq locked up and get yeah. Tasha off, and pretty much Davis looks like the hero. And so he, they both get what they want. They both get what they want. So but I'm hoping, and this is just my, I'm trying to have faith in meth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that he's playing sax. I hope so too. So that sax thinks, oh, I have an ally in him. And I, boom, boom, boom. Blah, and I just slapped but you. But I don't like face. the idea. Don't oh, I don't like it either. Yeah. I, and, I, and a whole lot of y'all in the comments last week was like, do y'all think that Davis is straight or crooked? And I said, I think he's both. Yeah. I think he's straight to a degree and crooked to a degree as well. But, and but this I, is that example right there. But Tariq been so goddamn smart that I think he going to figure it out that they working together. Because Tariq is already mad at him. We've seen a few, seen a few episodes ago when Tariq is like, you need to stop freaking playing uh, <laughs> make believe with my money. So how about when Tariq was went over Tamika house? I yeah. said, is he gonna really cap Tamika? Like Tamika, where's your sixth sense? Yeah. That something was up with old boy. She didn't have it. I said if you don't pull you a get out your bra or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all it's getting dark out here so it we're is. gonna we're gonna go ahead and continue enjoying our vacation. Uh, we hope y'all had a good weekend. Cause we sure did and having a good week but uh straight from the v oh yeah and we'll we be back need, yeah and we'll be back in december because it's supposed to be come back on in december for the next half so uh 
We appreciate y'all rocking with us these last past five episodes. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Straight from the VA. Or wherever we are. Hey. Two up, two down. Holla! Peace.